Yo what is up guys, Arson here and in today's video I'll show you how to get in Keo Perico Island without any glitches or stuff like that but just a little trick that I found myself and I actually was searching for YouTube but I couldn't find anything better than this so I was like you know what I'm gonna just come up with my own idea and the solo methods to get in Keo Perico so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this step by steps and all you're gonna first need is basically the submarine nothing else you're just gonna need the kasatka submarine and you want to just head to the submarine and just get inside with the normal way by just you know flying there and then just you know getting inside or you maybe you have done the you know this heist a little bit so you can just teleport into the kasatka by the invite all right, so as you're inside your Kasatka, you just want to hover over to this dashboard area, or, uh, which is basically an access to the map of Keo Perico Heist. You just want to click accept on the first job, which is the Heist Intel. You basically need to scope out the area by investigating all the suspicious activities going on on the Keo Perico Heist. As this first job is started, you just want to like go to your chopper or any way, just head over to the LSIA. So you can basically go to the airport and, you know, get a plane right to the Keo Perico island so this whole purpose of doing this is how to like actually set up all this thing because you're not actually going to be doing the investigation you're actually going to be doing the glitch right as you you know just fly to the island so let's go there all right so as soon as you spawn in into the Keo Perico island you just want to make your way to the right side gate area which is actually gonna you know give you access to the whole island if you go to the left side gate it won't actually let you pass because there's a guard that's looking out and the right side's guard is kind of like dumb so you just you know just make this way and go to this yellow destination area which is actually going to make you pass by this gate and give you access for the whole island so yeah Alright, so as soon as you get out of this gates area, this whole scoping out investigation job is going to be starting out from here. And what you mainly want to do is just let yourself get caught by these cameras or guards. Alright, so if you get caught by more than 3-2 times, Rockstar is basically going to tell you that if you keep getting caught, you're going to be, you know, respawned to the LSIA, uh, you know, Los Santos, basically. But let me be honest with you, it's not just if you get caught by too many times. The right number of how many times you can get caught and then you will spawn back to, you know, Los Santos is five. So don't listen to those, you know, text letters and anything and just keep getting caught until you hit four times. So you just want to make sure and just make your way to this camera area like I'm doing right now and just get caught at least four times. As you get caught four times, the fifth time is very important. You must get caught by a vehicle, okay? Because if if you get caught by these cameras, the glitch won't work. The way this glitch happens is by basically, uh, as you go to this side seater uh, investigation camera, and you're just looking out for the camera, looking out at the Keo Perico Island, the guards are all just frozen. The camera is frozen. Nothing is working besides the vehicles. The vehicles on Keo Perico Heist, even when you're using the Sight Seater app to check up on this location, is still like, basically the vehicles are still moving and they can just, you know, take you out of the area and drop you back to Los Santos. If you get caught wireless, you're in this camera, basically you will glitch out the screen and you will be parachuting underground of the Keo Perico, which is basically the glitch that I'm trying to show you guys. And it's going to allow you to actually play and explore the area without being actually in the heist. Well, I have been following your GPS blip. Quite a long trip you have been on, yes? You must be more careful out there. Come back to the sub when you are ready to give another try. Although guys, don't forget the coolest part about this update is that this island is actually on GT Online free mode. Just nobody still knows about it. But today I'll show you. So as you put a waypoint right outside of the you know this airport and you keep just you know flying out of this area or just you know swimming out with the dinghy or any type of boats, you'll notice how this island just disappears and you just literally get back on a GT Online free mode lobby. 
all your friends can literally look at you from coming back to the island to a GTA Online session. This is crazy. But remember, if you die once after coming back from KO Perico heist, you will notice that the cutscene when the guards are just hitting you on your body are actually transferred right back to your Los Santos. So let's say I'm just gonna, you know, just kill myself normally and then look what happens. But obviously, instead of just coming back from Keo Perico Island to Los Santos, you can just put a truck and have a ray gun to shoot yourself and it will basically ragdoll you to this special secret mansion that nobody can really get. I actually thought about this myself. I you know, just came up with this idea and it actually worked. You can get in this secret area that is extremely hard to get if you shoot yourself with a ray gun good. And just investigate the area even more, you know, just get to know how this zone is so before you actually start this final you're more aware of this area and just you know your surrounding location props and everything possible so yeah you'll just be more aware of what's gonna happen in front of you and yes you can actually open the doors even when you're outside of the heist which is the cool part